La Flame always delivers the heat. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Travis Scott songs. Can't get enough music in your life? Then be sure to head over to Mojo Travels to see some great ways to satisfy both your inner audiophile and your wanderlust with our list of the top 10 music festivals around the world worth traveling to. Click the link below. For this list, we're taking a look at the best of the rapper's catalog, but we won't be including tracks he's only featured in. Number 10, Mamacita, featuring rich homie Quan and Young Thug. Before Jacques Berman Webster II packed up and moved to LA to grow into one of the biggest rappers of the 2010s, his early stomping grounds were in the space city of Houston, Texas. Mama Sita, Sita, Sita. This is helpful for decoding Mamacita, a red hot track that sees Scott, rich homie Quan, and young thug bond over their shared love of Latina women. For those who don't speak Spanish, Mamacita translates to Little Mama. Scott's hometown has the third largest Hispanic population in the US, and throughout the lyrics, Trav spells out that even though he may have made it to the big leagues, he still likes the girls from back home. Number 9, Biebs in the Trap, featuring Nav. Travis has become known for his intoxicating production, and this track is no different. The Nav produced beat is drowsy and hard at the same time, its gradual build up nearly reflecting the effects of substances taking hold. And no, despite its title, Biebs in the Trap has nothing to do with Justin Bieber. I just put an A in a leader. But a white bitch sniffing on Bieber. Using Biebs as a euphemism for cocaine, Scott uses the term interchangeably with the names of other icons that symbolize whiteness. With a standout feature and beat from Nav and memorable lines from Travis, Biebs in the Trap has all the makings of a La Flame classic. Number 8, Sicko Mode featuring Sway Lee and Drake. Scott's third studio album, Astro World, was supposed to sound like an amusement park, and if that's the case, then Sicko Mode, his third collab with Drake, is Astro World's roller coaster. Going on you with the pick and roll, young flame here in Sicko Mode. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth. At the gate outside, when they pull up, they give me loose. A sonic saga consisting of three parts and beat switches galore. The track was produced by Tay Keith of Look Alive Infamy. Drake and Travis blend perfectly, each sharing their exploits as heavyweights of the rap game. Slang for the state of giving it your all and going for broke, Sicko Mode exemplifies why they've become two of the most successful in the industry. Number 7, Don't Play, featuring Big Sean and the 1975. The first single from Days Before Rodeo opens on a bone-chilling note with a sample from, of all artists, English indie rock group The 1975. The track that follows is a statement Travis means so gravely that he must repeat it numerous times to get his point across. Play with a pussy in the Jeep. Yeah, she was down with the foe, play driving. Jumped in the car when she hit my digits. No one then just to pull up at the projects. Toss in a flaming hot beat courtesy of Vinyls and Alan Ritter, a guest verse from Big Sean, and it becomes clear that Travis and co are unflinchingly serious about taking no prisoners on their climb to the top. Number 6, Maria I'm Drunk featuring Justin Bieber and Young Thug. You know what? How I stay? I've been going for some time. Now. I just want a little taste. While Biebs in the Trap may allude to Bieber's status without really being about him, Maria I'm Drunk famously features a rap verse from the young pop star. And let's not kid ourselves, the kid goes off. 
But besides Bieber getting the chance to exhibit his impeccable rap skills, Maria I'm Drunk is a twilight odyssey about searching for Maria, who may be less of an individual than marijuana personified as a girl. Life on the road can be exhausting, and this song bears the lengths Trav, Justin, and Young Thug will go to unwind after sundown, which mostly includes calling your friends to get drunk. Call your friend, let's get drunk. Call your friend, let's get drunk. Call your friend, let's get drunk. Number five, butterfly effect. The first taste of Astro World was offered up on May of 2017, and would quickly become one of Travis's best-selling songs. For this life I cannot change. It is deep off in the main. It was also one of his first tracks with the superstar Toronto producer Murda Beats, who provided the aqueous and hard-hitting beat. Grappling with a recurring theme that appears throughout the Travis Scott discography, Butterfly Effect details the sugar-sweet life of Hollywood excess and its darker and irreversible side effects. While also referencing the vertical or butterfly doors on a Lambo, the track's underlying message is dark, but it comes cocooned in an infectious beat and a trippy, rainbow-colored music video. Number 4. Pick Up The Phone with Young Thug featuring Quavo There's no question that Scott's fifth collab with Young Thug and fourth with Quavo was a team made in heaven. Pick Up The Phone was a major success and went platinum, even though its meaning is actually rooted in failure. In their respective verses, each rapper expresses their state of unrequited love due to unanswered calls and texts from girls they know are really only pretending to be unavailable. It's built on themes of fidelity and commitment, but between Travis yelling, it's lit, and Thugger's flex of a verse, it has all the trappings of a nightclub anthem. It's lit. I'm in the zone, baby. Number 3, 90210 featuring Casey Hill. This zip code is best known for being reappropriated as the title for teen TV series 90210, which Travis pays homage to while exposing the darker underworld of Beverly Hills. It's a superstar girl, superstar girl, oh, in the 90210, the song paints a picture of a valley girl on a quest to find the right alley, which may insinuate drug dealing, sexual exploits, or any sort of other illicit activity. Yet somewhere beyond that alley, melodic keys segue into the song's part two, widening its scope from the shady search for pleasure into a confession of Travis's family life. Don't let its Barbie-inspired video fool you. 90210 is flowing with emotional depth. Smiling at him, laughing at me. I pass a rock the yeah, he punk, faked it, passed it back, bitch. All of this off a rabbit, should've wrote this in Latin, yeah. Mm, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Number two, Antidote. The second single from Rodeo wasn't even supposed to be on Travis's album, but after an unofficial SoundCloud drop and swiftly becoming a fan favorite, Antidote evolved into one of Travis's hugest songs. So don't you open up that window. Don't you let out that antidote. And for good reason. It's irresistibly catchy, exhibiting Travis's aptitude for producing a radio-friendly hook. Anything happen at the night show. Everything happened at the night show. Its lyrics also spotlight his frequent subject matter of popping pills and partying, while casting the drug-fueled lifestyle in the most somber of tints. Travis is clearly weighed down by a lot of personal demons, which is why he resorts to weed. So don't even think about opening up that window. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Decide. 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 Number one, Goosebumps featuring Kendrick Lamar. Goosebumps is at once a love story and a ghost story, which makes sense given Travis wrote it at one of the darkest times in his life. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah. On the surface, it's about the tingling sensation he feels both near and far from the girl he loves. Although said goosebumps could also be a veiled reference to withdrawal symptoms from prescription drug abuse. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You come around, yeah. You ease my mind, you make everything feel fine. Worry about those comments. I'm way too numb, yeah. It's way too dumb, yeah. It teams Scott with one of his idols, K-Dot, who gives us absolute bars in a verse written from the perspective of the girl. Goosebumps boasts one of the best beats of Scott's career, making it a mystery why so many artists, including Drake, Rihanna, and School by Q, first passed on the beat. Be the piper, pick the peppers, I can pick your brain and put your heart together. We depart the shady parts and party hard, the diamond shows the cool forever. My best shot just might shoot forever like I get those goosebumps every time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.